Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to audit DDL changes in SQL Server. Right now, we can achieve this in multiple ways. I am going Today I am going to show you how to achieve this using triggers. So for this, I am creating one database called Object Audit Logs. And that I am going to create one table in that database only. After that, I am going to create a trigger. Okay. In this trigger, if you see here carefully, all the events which are mentioned here, it is going to be captured. Okay, along with the syntax. Okay. So here, this is extra command. I have given okay I mean uh, especially to identify the database drop and database create okay so I am going to create that now I am going to create it in the master yep command got successfully now to test this purpose I am going to create one database called Harsha and I'm going to drop the same database. Okay, now I'm creating the database in the uh, in the audit table only to, okay. Now I'm just selecting the table. I'm creating in the object audit logs database only. Credit it. I'm going to create a sample function and sample view schema changes sample trigger I have created all the samples here and now I'm going to drop all these click execute go to object logs expand tables here select select top 100 rows here see database drop create create drop table uh, database create so each and every drop function is also got created uh, where is the drop function Yep, here it is. Drop result. Everything it is. Uh, what what are the changes that we have done in any database? It is not going to record in the system data. It is all. What are the objects that are deleted, created, drop, alter? All these changes will get recorded into this database. Okay. Now, so I want to clean up this table. Okay. So for this we have one drop command. Uh, I want to clean up all these commands which are exist after 30 days. Okay, so uh, right now I'm using this simple command by using this. Okay, so here I'm going to give 30 days. Okay, if any objects that are got uh, which is uh, third old than 30 days, it is going to delete that. Let's see that there's a simple uh, command got executed or not. Let's see that. Yep. Why? Because I have just now created this. Okay, that's the reason. Now I am going to create it minus one. Okay. So one day minus. Okay. Just now I have created. As I am seeing this. See, twenty four grows got affected. So to to make uh, to show you that this command is working, I have used minus one. It means uh, less than mine one day. Okay. So that's the reason all these table uh, records got deleted. Create this. So if you want any changes, if you want to go like 30 days or like uh, every three months you want to delete that, you can mention how many days you want, you can do So for this, I have used date diff, fun date diff function. So this is the day, current day. And this is that event date. From this time, it is going to pick and identify the days. If uh, what is the rule that we have done? If it is matches, it is going to delete that. How it is going to delete that manually? No. So we have to uh, configure this as in a job. 
so that has to be run every 60 days so whenever the job runs it is going to check that and it will delete that okay uh, i am going to give all these in uh, description box you can execute in your test environment and implement the same in your production okay uh, based, uh, so if you have any doubts or comment in the below section okay i hope you may like this video thank you